Welcome to the Rita Spector channel. Ours is a community of women 50 plus embracing lifestyle, health and wellness, travel and joy. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite states, Arizona. I have been traveling to Arizona for the last nine years. I have visited Arizona from Miami over 100 times. Yes, I know the Miami International Airport and Sky Harbor airports very, very well. The Grand Canyon State. Let me tell you a little bit about it and let me show you a little bit about it. So Arizona, the Grand Canyon State as it's called, became a state on Valentine's Day 1912 and it was the 48th state. It was originally part of the Spanish and Mexican territories and the land was ceded to the U.S. in 1848 and became a separate territory in 1863. Though we spent most of our time in Phoenix, Scottsdale, and Paradise Valley, we have traveled throughout the state. One of the things that I did after 50, actually at 58, I wanna say, my husband and I did a three-day trek into the Grand Canyon. Yes, we walked into the canyon. We did not stand up, up on top and look at the beautiful sunrise. We did not take a helicopter and look at the Grand Canyon. We walked into the Grand Canyon. It took an entire day walking down into the canyon with a guide. We stayed overnight, two nights, and it took two days to walk back up. It was tremendous. There were scenes that you just cannot replicate anywhere else. Just a little further north, you can go to the four points where you're standing literally in four different states. And it is easy to travel by car outside of the state to Mexico, Nevada, New Mexico, and California. Inside Arizona, aside from the Grand Canyon and our wonderful trek, which was phenomenal and unforgettable, we have visited Flagstaff, Tucson, Jerome, and of course, Sedona, the magical city of energy and healing. I encourage everyone to make sure that they put this on their bucket list, on their travel list to visit Arizona. So ladies, until we meet next episode, stay strong, stay resilient, and never let anyone or anything take away your peace. Make your day and someone else's great.